Hi class, I just wanted to cover in Camtasia uh, everything that we, we did in lecture today. I want to show how to export a model out of Max and into ZBrush. So let's open up a Max file. And I've got a example of student work here. I'm going to hide that stuff. And I'm going to make a selection around all the parts that I want to bring into ZBrush. And I'm going to go to Export, Export Selected, choose OBJ, and put it someplace sensible. Right now the desktop works fine. We'll call this Captain Reno. Okay, these, these settings are really important. And by the way, I've put this image up on Moodle. Uh, let's talk about what we're doing. We're getting this geometry out of Max and into ZBrush. And we want to do it with polygons, not quads. So make sure this says polygons. We don't have any materials that we're exporting, and we don't have the desire to optimize any of this stuff. So turn that off. We're not writing a log, because we're not going to look at it. So we're not going to do that. And we don't really want to worry about the normals. And we have to ask the question, are we exporting UVs out of Max? The answer is no, we're not doing that right now. So we'll turn that off. So that just leaves polygons and flip YZ and press export. It's a really useful diagnostic tool right here. And in this instance, we've got a warning that says we've got a rat's nest in the mesh pants. So let's go back, we say done, and we select the part that says pants, uh, hide everything else, and we need to go find where these problems exist. And here's a really nice way to do it. Um, in the olden days, and by that I mean maybe three, four years ago, we would apply, oh, we got symmetry on there, I don't want that. We would apply a modifier called SDL check. Okay, and this is the old school way of looking for n-gons and open faces. We don't do that anymore. Let's go to polygon sub-object mode, um, deselect everything, come over here to graphite modeling tools, selection, and select non-quads. And this is a visual indication of that rat's nest that we got when we exported. So we gotta clean all this stuff up and then we export out of Max into ZBrush. Okay, so let's just unhide everything and hide the stuff that we don't want to bring into ZBrush. Select everything and I'm assuming you have to just assume that all all those rat's nest holes and end gons are fixed and I'm assuming they are we go export export selected let's overwrite Captain Renault and polygons flip YZ everything else turned off export okay um, you have a triangle count here that's pretty good you can go back and look at all the different parts that are named and hit done. Okay, let's go to ZBrush. Okay, this is, you can hide this either by pressing this hide button right here or pressing the comma key. Comma key toggles that on and off. So I'm going to hide that. Let's go up here to import. Let's go to the desktop. C drive users, K Burgess, desktop, Captain Renault. Okay, first question it's going to ask you is quads and triangles or symmetrical triangles? Well, we would never ever want symmetrical triangles, so please don't select that. Select quads and triangles. There is the model in our tool tray here. Let's drag in our viewport and immediately press T or this button right here to get into edit mode. Okay. So that's this little vignette. That's how to get a model out of Max and into ZBrush. In the next um, video, I will talk about the interface of ZBrush.